Four for EV1 and EV2 are on. Nickel hydrogen batteries on the station with lithium ion batteries on the port six truss. And that's the same work site that we'll see the astronauts at today. They put these remaining spacewalks on hold as the alpha magnetic spectrometer spacewalks took place and as teams on the ground investigated some issues with the battery charge discharge units on the space station. We'll talk about more about those BCDUs, the battery charge discharge units, a little bit later. Astronauts inside the station are supporting the spacewalk as well and also have a live video feed of the astronauts working outside once they make it there. Andrew Morgan, as you can see in the right side of your screen, will eventually take his place at the controls of the Canada Arm 2. We won't see any astronauts taking a ride on the Canada Arm 2 today, but he will be commanding the location of the external pallet, or the EP, where astronauts will be removing and replacing some batteries later on. As you can see, Christina Cook and Jessica Meir have been moved into the crew lock section of the Quest airlock. They're now in the crew lock, and the other portion, which you can see Andrew Morgan in, is the equipment lock. That's where they were suited up this morning. Earlier today, they donned their spacesuits. They're formerly known as extravehicular mobility units, or EMUs. Those spacesuits are essentially individual human-sized spacecraft, and they each contain their own portable life support system. You can see astronaut Jessica Mir EV-1, or Spacewalker-1, egressing the hatch now, flying about 267 statute miles over the Indian Ocean. Hey, Christina, I have egress, and I'm going to move over to the forward side. Copy. You'll be able to differentiate between Mir and Cook today based on their spacesuits. You can see Mir has red stripes around the legs of her spacesuit, whereas Cook will only have a white spacesuit. You can push it down a little bit. And I have the string, so you're good to release the rent when it's like, okay, can you push it down a little bit more? Yeah. Just catching on uh, your waist tether there, okay? Okay, I've got my DRT on. I'll pass you this one back. Copy. Oh, got it. you hear a lot of acronyms today, one being RET, which you just heard. That's Retractable Equipment Tether. Astronauts make sure that all of their tools are connected to them at all times so that none are lost. Another is BRT, Body Retractable Tether, ensuring they are always connected to the space station. And I have egress. Copy. Christina, well, would you like to start buddy check? If that works for them, that works for me. We are ready for buddy checks. Okay, if you can face me, I see your green light for your WVF. I see one, two, I see three tabs up, and I see your left paper handles down. Can you turn a little bit toward your left? Perfect, and your right paper handles down as well. I see a good tether can fix. Okay, and for you, I see one green WBS joint, I see three MWS tabs up, and I see two paper handles down. And I also concur, good, two feather concur. Copy, and EV1 has a dry hat. Dry hat for EV2. Copy good buddy checks, and copy uh, dry hat for you both. There's a warning and a caution. Uh, the warning is about the sharp edge on airlock, airlock with uh, number eight label, and the caution is to avoid contact with deployed test cable. 
And with that, uh, Jessica, you can translate to uh, P1 to a mile marker 9180 under the FHRC for the anchor hooks. Okay, copy. After performing their buddy checks to ensure each other's suits are in the right configuration, Christina Cook and Jessica Meir are now on their way to the P6 truss, where they will conduct today's spacewalk. Easy one has dropped truck on 5311, gates closed, slide is locked. Copy that, Jessica. Next, you can uh, translate uh, to the EP, and I have two warnings and three cautions uh, for the EP. For the EP wheels, it's no touch for pinch points. The EP grapple shaft and teeth are also no, cut, no touch. Translate only on the handrails. Do not impart loads onto any ORU on the EP. No sudden movements on the EP. Maintain less than 0.45 feet per second translation speed. And wait until EP motion dampens out before imparting any loads. A good view from Mir's helmet camera as she stows the ORU bag, or the Orbital Replacement Unit bag, containing some of the tools and the equipment that the spacewalkers will need today. In this view from Jessica Mir's helmet camera, you can see she has installed a scoop on the direct current switching unit. Okay, for EV-1, on my right glove, I have a very small piece of um, a TV that's peeled back on the seam of my index finger, so you can see that in my WDS. And left glove looks the same as baseline, half is dry, and gauntlets are down for EV1. The astronauts also conducted a glove and half check. Um, stand by, I'm going to cut head down there. Okay. Astronauts regularly check their gloves for any damage during the spacewalk. And HAP it stands for Helmet Absorption Pad. That astronauts check this to ensure nothing is leaking and that the inside of the suit remains dry. And uh, you're a bit to the right, to the left, both feet, okay. Is in, you just need to get the heel rotated in, void and down. Perfect, you're in the toe loop. I think you're going to have to bring it forward more, okay? These battery changes on the International Space Station, switching from nickel hydrogen to lithium ion, have taken place over the last few years on various parts of the space station. Okay. I believe I'm ingress. Have a good view of your right foot. It does look like I can see about your right foot. Okay. And I am looking at battery serial number 0104. Copy 0104. Check the ingress aid stowed and tethers clear. And attach a ret to the H2 scoop. Clear. Copy. Uh, attach a ret to the H2 scoop, locking it out with slack. We're currently an hour and a half into today's spacewalk, and Jessica Mir is positioning herself to receive battery one from Christina Cook. Mir will then soft dock the battery onto the external pallet for later disposal. Uh, should, yeah, you should still have enough room to eat that. Yep, I agree. Uh, yep. Okay, I can stretch it out a little bit more, otherwise I can come back a bit. Can work. I have the battery. Do you have the battery? I have the battery. See, if you can pull it to you a little bit, okay? Yep. So well, I can get up here.
as NASA astronaut Christina Cook holds the battery. You can see she's wearing an all-white suit, designating her as Spacewalker 2 today. Just be aware that um, coming out forward and the battery is between you and me, and I can move it if you do need that space. And this view from the helmet camera of Jessica Meir, who is finding her footing in the articulating portable foot restraint, which will give her more stability, as you can see, external palette and slot Z right there in the middle of the camera. And below her is beautiful Earth as the space station flies 265 statute miles south of Mauritius. Okay, Stephanie, I'll get my PGT out. PGT settings are Alpha 7. Alpha. Oh. Yes, Alpha 7, clockwise 2. Copy Alpha 7. The Alpha 7, clockwise 2 is set. Confirm tape line flush to the H2 scoop. It works. The tape line flush. Copy. Drive H2, 16 to 17 turns to hard stop. Mir is now driving a bolt to secure the battery to the external pallet as the space station has just crossed the invisible terminator line. That's the difference between daylight and nighttime, flying 261 statute miles south of the Maldives. Good. Alignment a little bit down. Okay. Oh, okay. And I have 16, I had counted 17 turns, good green light, and the torque is 9.1. Copy 9.1 torque, 17 turns, green light, check status indicator lock. This indicator is locked. Copy that. You can steal your PGT and unlock the rest. As you can hear, the crew members are moving on to their third task today, which is to move battery two, a nickel hydrogen battery, from the integrated electronics assembly to the external pallet in slot F. However, at the same time, adapter plate F, which is on the external pallet, will need to be moved to slot two. So both of these are switching places, and each crew member has a specific job during this task. That will be both H1 and H2. That's affirmed. I think what I'm going to do, Stephanie, if you guys are okay with it, I'm going to try to use one of the um, three adjustables that's inside the crew lock bag that has the scoops on it, and then get it on the light as well so that I can, we can put the light in. You know, right now it's just kind of um, flying all over the place, so it's not very directional in terms of where the light's point is. If I can get a second red on it, then we might be in a better position there. Jessica, we copy. Sounds good. Approaching three and a half hours into today's spacewalk, NASA astronaut Jessica Meir, whose helmet camera you can see here, is working to release the second bolt that has the adapter plate attached to the external pallet. Copy. Going back to a cow. Copy. Once this adapter plate is released, battery number two, which was just removed prior to this, will be docked in its place on the external pallet, and it will later be disposed. LED test battery 39.47. Copy good cow and good to LED test. I'm back. I'm back in counter two. Copy counter two as well.
One line is flush, and I'm starting third. Copy. I think that's Stephanie, that was 23 turns, and it is skipping now. I believe it is all the way released. Copy 23 turns with skipping. And you can stow the ORU bag, I'm sorry, stow the PGT to the ORU bag. Once the adapter plate is removed, the astronauts will stow it on their body restraint tether. The adapter plate and transfer it to Christina. And uh, Mark, am I a go to release the lock on my wrist? Yes. This one. Have the adapter plate removed? Copy. Hey, and I have my spear. Can you see my spear? I do. I'll try to direct it right toward it. All right. At four hours into today's spacewalk, the spacewalkers are rounding out the third task, installing battery two to external pallet F, and installing adapter plate F to slot two on the integrated electronics assembly. At four hours and 11 minutes in today's spacewalk, the astronauts have completed their first three tasks. The first being move battery one, a nickel hydrogen battery, to the external pallet, and then move battery F, a lithium ion battery, from the external pallet to the slot one on the integrated electronics assembly. The astronauts just completed moving battery two, a nickel hydrogen battery, to the external pallet while removing adapter plate F from the external pallet and to battery two's former slot on the integrated electronics assembly. Okay, this feels like a good position. Okay, and I'll lean back for you to do the swing in, and I do see the, I'm gonna get the gap spinner down. So, it's a good check on the gap spanner and also check ingress aid stowed. And work. Ingress aid is stowed. Copy. Then, Christina, you can receive the battery. Copy. Hey, Jessica, I have the battery. Hey, copy. You have the battery. I'm letting go. And here's what we'll I'll get it over the gap spanner and then. You were doing, you'll hold it up, and let me, I know that I'm interfering with you right now moving, so stand by one, and I'll get this out of your way. Okay. At four hours and 25 minutes into today's spacewalk, the astronauts are working to move battery three from its spot on the integrated electronics assembly to adapter plate F in slot two of the integrated electronics assembly. This is a nickel hydrogen battery, so it won't be used once these lithium ion batteries are installed. However, the adapter plate will allow it to stay alive in case it's needed for extra backup power. Okay. Stephanie, I have the scoop relocated from battery two, H1, to PSCS H4, and it is locked. Copy. Nice work, Christina. And you can translate. Uh, near the EP to be ready for a battery handoff. Copy. I'm going to come back up here, Christina. See, I'm underneath your tether. Okay, here, let me get eyes on that. And I, can see I think if I right translate there. back up this way, it's going to come off my back. Okay, I can actually get it with Mike. We head down that way. Can you see it right now? Yep, I sure can. I'm, okay. In a good spot, so they're not blowing them on the 
Jessica Meir is now ingressing the articulating portable foot restraint with a beautiful view as the International Space Station soars 270 statute miles over the South Atlantic Ocean. That is on the H, you just say H1, correct? Confirm. Okay, rest on H1 and it is locked out with black. Copy, and uh, understand you said to Alpha 7 counterclockwise 2, confirm tape line flush on H2. The line is flush on H1, you just said H2, but I think you meant H1. Well, we don't, maybe H1s aren't driven on these. Okay, you're right, maybe. And that's correct, on the EP for these new batteries, we only need to right. actuate uh, H2. Just H2. Copy. Have one line flush in H2. Copy, release H2, about 19 turns. Okay, copy, starting turn. At four hours and 46 minutes into today's spacewalk, you can see NASA astronaut Jessica Meir using the pistol grip tool to release battery E from the external pallet on her right. You can also see some shadows starting to fall over portions of the space station as it is about to enter an orbital nighttime. That is 25 turns. I believe I should be released. It does look very loose. Okay. Can I do the unlock? Copy 25 turns and status indicator unlock. Can stow that PGT and unlock the red. Copy. I'm going to take one foot out of it. If you find it, I can come up higher. It's got one foot out so I can maneuver better. Great idea. Okay, I got it. All right, nice job. All right, now I'm going to move out of your way. Stephanie, I'm getting a good inspection right now. I see good fins, pins, good EMI band, and no fud. Copy good inspection on the back of the battery. And Jessica, with that, you can egress. You two can work together to shepherd the battery to the IEA. Good news, the new battery you install is good to power and connectivity. Great news, thank you. Yes, thank you. PET is four hours, 54 minutes. We show you 10 minutes ahead. Flying at 261 statute miles over the Democratic Republic of the Congo, the International Space Station has just crossed the Terminator line, the difference between daylight and nighttime. Astronauts aboard the space station see 16 sunrises and sunsets a day as the space station flies about 17,500 miles an hour. I can give you good guidance from here. Great. Okay, move the battery toward up, so up for you. Okay, now come down. Okay. And um, down or in. Okay, yes, in. And uh, stand by, I think that, there you go, that's better. Now okay. you're level. Looks good on this side. Okay, I think we're in self -up. Copy. Slack out the ret with slack and receive uh, Jessica's PGT with the six inch. 
We're one minute from a 20 second handover. That is left out with Fox. Copy. And Jessica, if I could break in, if you guys are clear, and, and it seems that you are clear of the EP and feathers and tools are clear, I can maneuver to the back off position with your go. We are clear. We have our go. Okay, copy, go. Okay, 17 turn, green LED, 9.1 foot pounds of torque, status indicator is in lock. Copy 9.1 torque, 17 turns, green light, status indicator lock on H2. Same settings on uh, for the PGT Alpha 7 clockwise 2 on H1. No settings are still set. Confirm tape line flush on the H1 scoop. I have tape line flush on H1. Drive H1. Good Drive H1 four to five and a half turns. Copy. That was five turns on H1. Green LED, 9.2 foot pounds of torque. That is indicators unlocked. 9.2 torque, five turns. Green light, status indicator lock on H1. Can transfer the PGT to Jessica and unlock and release the red. At five hours and 20 minutes into today's spacewalk, the astronauts have completed all scheduled tasks and are now moving on to move one more battery from the integrated electronics assembly to the external pallet in slot Y. As astronauts Christina Cook and Jessica Meir move Battery 4 down to its new home, they are in the middle of their get-ahead task. They'll be moving this battery, a nickel hydrogen battery, to an open slot on the external pallet. The external pallet will eventually be disposed as these batteries are no longer of use. Jessica, as you guys approach the work site, the brakes are on and it'll be go for your ops when you get there. Okay, we copy. Thanks, Drew. It's still coming your way. I don't know if you have another one. Yeah, yeah I can well, at least to this one. That's going to be too far, right? I'll come back. Yeah, the battery. Yes, you have the battery. That's the battery. From Jessica Mears' helmet cam, you can see that they've arrived at the external pallet in the open slot designated Y. This is where the battery four, a nickel hydrogen battery, will be stowed. Point is flush and standby. The PCC is turned off. So. Copy. Gina, can you get a yep. hand on it? Yep. Okay, I've got a hand on it. You can pull it out. LED test battery 38.01. And Alpha 7 clockwise 2 is set. Copy. I have tape line flush and move it to left a little bit. Here, I'll, I'll just start. Uh, yeah, I, I, I get it. Oh, okay. I'm waiting. So, yeah. Copy. Okay. Drive H2. Hey, I'm ready for turn. 16 to 17 turns. Nice to be tracking. This turn is the only one it will take to secure Battery 4 in its new position on the external pallet. After that, the astronauts will be complete with this additional battery get ahead. Down a little bit. Okay, 
Stephanie, that was 16 turns, the green light, and 9.1 torque. Copy 9.1. That, that is indicator is lost. Copy 9.1 Turk, 16 turns, green light, status indicator lock for H2. Those are good checks. Chris, uh, Jessica, you can stow the PGT on your swing arm, unlock and release the RET and send it back to uh, Christina. Okay, happy. And Stephanie, where are these scoops going? Jessica, Christina, we're going to fast forward a bit and we are skipping the scoop ops uh, for this EVA. Six hours, ten minutes into today's spacewalk, NASA's astronauts Jessica Meir and Christina Cook have completed all of their scheduled tasks today as well as one get-ahead task. They're now preparing to clean up their work site and then ingress back to the International Space Station's Quest airlock. I am at the airlock. I'm going to open the thermal cover. Okay. And I am ingressing by the area that has your safety cover, so I think it's clear. Yeah, I can see it right now. It is uh, behind your feet. Okay. So if you stick toward the wheel, the copy. I'm on the wagon wheel to stay conflicted. How's that look? Behind you right now. Okay. So if I just stick in here and. Let's see. Let's see. Do your plus. Stand by. Okay, you're free now. I've got it pulled up above you. Happy. Can you see it just off to your left? Al, I'm holding it so it doesn't get caught in your... Okay, I do, yep. Okay, hey, you got eyes on it? Yep, I got eyes. Okay. If you'd like, I can ingress and then if you want to hand me that or if you want to go ahead and stow it, then I'll just stand by. Go away. Um, if you're right there, you can just sit in, but offering, if you want me to hop yeah, in. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll toss it up there and then you can ingress, get a red on it, and then I can release my rep. Okay. So, so we'll have the tethers look right now. I can move to the app. Get out of your way. Go ahead and if you do that, I'll get an eye on him. I'll get a good look going up to see you first. Okay, that looks good. Seven hours and 11 minutes into today's spacewalk, astronauts are finishing up equipment checks just outside of the Quest airlock. You can see Jessica Mir there in your screen preparing to ingress. He is closed. Lighter is locked. I'm just going to take a look back and make sure that we have a good config there still. Copy and check real unlock. is unlocked. Copy, release EV-1 yellow hook and stow it on your mini workstation. Okay, good work. release and it is on my mini workstation. Copy that. Nice work. You can ingress the airlock, close the uh, thermal cover, and attach the Velcro strap. 
Ian Wright. And Goose, I am fully port and forward for your ingress. Okay, copy. I have the bat bolt DK message. And we copy. Thanks for the report. Christina, I'm going to come in feet first. Copy. Jessica Meir now ingressing the hatch as the space station flies 259 statute, I statute miles south of the Marshall Islands. Try to twist so I can get the... As Jessica Muir makes her way into the hatch to close the thermal cover, we had a nice view of the Northrop Grumman Cygnus vehicle, a resupply craft scheduled to depart the space station on January 31st. Jessica, it should, uh, yes, it should go on the inside. Thermal cover is closed and the Velcro is in place. There is some potato chipping, but I think that's expected. Copy all and expected. Nice work. You can both uh, remove the SEU from the stowage pouch, remove the DCM cover, and connect your SEUs to DCM. Copy. Work. Coming up on seven minutes, seven hours and 20 minutes into today's spacewalk, you can see the astronauts are now back inside the crew lock portion of the Quest airlock. The thermal hatch is closed, and this is a live view from the helmet camera of Jessica Meir. Okay. And for EV2, mine is on, but not yet locked. Get it. Copy EV1 and EV2. They have a few more suit checkouts before they will close the hatch and begin repressurization. Copy EV2. For EV1 and EV2, you can take your water switches to off OFF in the forward position. Expect water is off message. Water is off EV1 and EV2, water is off. Copy. That starts the uh, two-minute timer, and in the meanwhile, Jessica, you can verify outer hatch is clear of hardware and verify the hatch handle per the decal. Copy. In work. Okay. 
do see that it is clear of hardware. What am I verifying on the handle? That the handle position is per the hatch decal. Okay, it is currently an unlocked and unlocked. Copy. Jessica, we are ready for you to close and lock the hatch. Okay, copy, in work. Stephanie, it's closed and I'm working on the watch. Copy. I'm fully latched and it's locked. And now Luca Parmentano and Andrew Morgan moving EV-1, Jessica Muir, into place in the equipment lock portion of the crew airlock and also removing her safer backpack.
Did I turn that better to off now or set? Session airlock on, on one. Go ahead, Luca. Like at this point, we'd like to privatize the video, if that's okay. Uh, privatizing the video, checking. Uh, and we're putting that in work. And Luca and Drew, we're making sure that the uh, video is not going outside the building, if that's okay. Copy the okay sign. Houston airlock on one. Can you just confirm that uh, EV1 and 2 are not hot mic anymore? They are not hot mic'd. Copy, thanks. However, the video is still public. We're working on it, though. During today's 7-hour and 29-minute spacewalk, NASA astronauts Christina Cook and Jessica Meir moved three old nickel-hydrogen batteries to the external pallet to eventually be disposed, stowed one on the integrated electronics assembly, and put two new lithium-ion batteries in the integrated electronics assembly. This sets them up for their next spacewalk together on Monday when they'll install the final lithium ion battery and remove the final two nickel hydrogen batteries from the 2B channel on the port six truss. The hatch is closed and locked, and the lock latch is indicating locked. 